Night 6 of the house cry of late Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare yesterday saw tributes by Simbu and Eastern Highlands provinces. The contribution by Simbu province during the walk to independence was highlighted, mentioned by Chuawe MP Wera Mori, naming leaders like Sir Joseph Nombri and Sir Yamake Okuk as colleagues of Sir Michael who supported him in seeking self-governance from Australia. We know that we are a province that is devoid of natural resources. We do not matter much when it comes to determinations and distribution of resources. But when Somare, when the great chief was a prime minister, he held Chimbu to his dearest heart. He walked with the late Seyambaki Hokuk to bring in independence. My late uncle Sir Joseph Nombri was part of his team that basically led to self-government and independence. He was a son of Kondo Mangando, who walked the talk of what Kondo Mangando have preached. No, no, Papua New Guinea, unity movement, Michael Somare, and Tumeri Yege. No, no, Katne Dano, Paiten Amgra. Karen Kakua, member for Sinasine Yongumul, who was a close associate to Sir Michael, had two parts to his tribute, a commanding lamentation in his language, which he walked to and fro, chanting of Sir Michael's contribution to the nation and his life as a leader, the Grand Chief of this country. Michael Somara da mo kurma! Ene bagi da mo kono! Sampla tok tok mi wokilo tok ples. Mi tok olsen. Michael Somare, e mi got tribal vision. Well, people look him mountain. Michael Somare sa lugu lugu backside lo display mountain. Time all people look him tutak. Michael Somare, I blame that go through the darkness. Kua said during the process of independence, Sir Michael had only a handful of Papua New Guineans with university qualifications and was under criticism by the Australian government that the country would not succeed. But the Grand Chief never gave in. Plenty white man all discourage him. All leadership structure blame me. All talking no possible. You need him, Sawa man. And they had a case. That was true. They were talking in, on facts. You know, not look, you know, got on the sour man, lo leading you, lo public service, lo judiciary, lo parliament, lo kind kind work, lo churches, lo business. You must wait past them. But Somare no got patience blem. And thank God he had no patience for that kind of argument. Thank God. Kua, who was commanding in his tribute, also wanted a public apology from those that were involved in the Grand Chief's removal as Prime Minister during the 2011 political impasse. Up to now, me not even apology yet. Me lawyer Michael Thomas Somare, me stop. Two plus Supreme Court case, me win him. Judgment plus Supreme Court, and this thick, 300 pages plus. Now I'm talking Michael Somare is still Prime Minister. Mani go past na wogen karangi ino apologize na ikam ikam na grand chief idai. Me no like karim this la heavy lo bell blow mirpla all people go forward. This la heavy now grand chief idai memory blow this la bad experience you me must plan him one time. Fidelis Sukina National MTV News.